that that was the funniest moments too, although sometimes people would go, I don't think that's funny. I, know. Karen, <laughs> but I, I was thinking about our conversation earlier about how this is already the 32nd week of the early childhood educator. And although we wear so many different hats at MCCA, we're really all ECEs at heart. You're so right, Karen. Tell us about your professional journey and how you became an ECE. So I graduated in 1987 um, from the Child Care Worker Training Program, that's what it was called back then, uh, from the University of Winnipeg, and sort of moved my way through different positions, through different child care centres, was a frontline staff with infants, was a supervisor with preschool children. Uh, then I moved out to Brandon for a while and worked in rural Manitoba. Um, then I came back to Winnipeg, was an assistant director. Then um, I became a director um, at an early Childhood Center here in Winnipeg, and um, and during that time, always an MCCA member, and um, and I also was a volunteer. Um, so when this position came up that I have now at MCCA, it just seemed like a natural progression of this is where I would be because I knew lots about the association, I felt comfortable, and um, obviously it's worked out for me because I've been here for 22 <laughs> years. <laughs> Jody, why don't you tell us your path? Well, my journey is pretty similar to yours actually, Karen. I mean, I've been at ACE for over 30 years. I started as a summer student at Horizons Children's Center, and I remember thinking, this is the best job ever. So I went to Red River Community College, became an ECE3, and then I was a frontline staff for a couple years. I moved to Kenora, Ontario, actually, for a couple years, and then when I moved back to Winnipeg, I became a supervisor, an assistant director, a uh, finally an executive director of a facility. And the same thing, I was always an MCCA member, always a volunteer, and so when the position of executive director of MCCA was posted, it just felt like you, sort of a natural progression to my career. So that's what led me to where I am today. Now, Kayla, you are the newest person here at MCCA. Tell us about your journey as an ECE. So like both of you, I also was an MCCA member. I've been in the field for 16 years. I started off in a center in Transcona as an inclusion worker. Then I went to being a CCA in a kinder program uh, in a center in Transcona. And then from there, I eventually found myself in the workplace program. I graduated in 2006. And then from there, my positions kind of took that natural progression as well. I went from supervisor to assistant director to director, um, eventually finding myself here. Um, in a role that I had always kind of wanted and thought about, you know, being a volunteer on the conference committee. And then um, I'm still in the field, I guess, uh, you could say as a board member for a facility. So it's clear that we all took different paths to actually get us here to MCCA, but I'm thinking that throughout our paths, there were, there were people in our lives that were important, that inspired us, that shaped us to be the professionals that we are today. Karen? Who are the people that inspired you along your journey? You're right, Jody. There's so many people, probably way too many people to mention here, but a few people come to mind when I think about who inspired me. When I was first an ECE student and my first placement was at campus daycare, there was a guy there named Ken, and Ken played the guitar. Mm -hmm. And it was like my first week of practicum, I think, and it was circle time. And Ken just started walking around the center strumming. And all of a sudden, the children just got up from everywhere and started following Ken <laughs> to the area where there would be circle time. And just, I remember thinking to myself, you know, someday I want to be like Ken, because Ken just had this, I mean, the kids loved him, right? And I was thinking, I want to be able to, to call the children over and have circle time and have them want to come and spend time with me. And that's what they wanted to do with Ken. So I, I was really inspired by Ken when I first started. Um, then throughout my career, um, you know, other people have, has, have inspired me. Um, but when I became a director, I was new at it. And I would was looking for to find some people to that might be able to mentor me or help me. And I remember calling two directors that were in the downtown area. Uh, they were Ruth Lindsay Armstrong and Alison Gregory. And I would call them and I'd say, you know, I'm so sorry I'm calling you to ask you this question. And I remember them telling me that this is how we grow leaders, by leaning on each other. And they would be happy to be my mentors. So I was really lucky I had yeah. both of them. And then when I got my job here at MCCA, um, there's one person that really sticks out for me because whenever I felt like I've had a dilemma or a situation, how am I going to handle this? Who am I going to call? Well, I called Michelle Grant. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And as it turns out, Michelle Grant was one of the people who was part of my interview. So maybe we've just connected sort of from that point. But um, yeah, I've always um, looked up to her as a mentor and really grateful that she was able to mentor me here in my job. How about you, Jody? Same kind of like you, Karen. It'd be, it's hard to choose a couple people when you've been in the sector for three decades. Um, I would say when I was a student and I first started as a child care assistant, it was her name was Janet. I don't even know what her last name was, but she was the type of ECE, you know, the one that when they speak, the children just all come like the, like the Pied Piper, right? And I remember thinking, I want to be just like Janet when I'm an ECE. <laughs> and so that would be sort of my, my beginning of my journey. And then when I was a student, um, unequivocally, it was uh, Zena Ramza. She was my practicum instructor, but she was also like my just one of my other like other various course instructors. And Zena just, she opened my eyes to the world of advocacy, first of all, which I never really had a full comprehension of what that meant. And then she also opened my eyes to like the different journeys or paths that an ECE can take along their professional career. So to this day, she certainly stands out. And I think now um, in my life, I would say it's my breakfast people. And my breakfast people are a group of six women that we've been going for breakfast for um, probably 20 years now every second Saturday of the month when it works out for us. And, and they're all connected to early learning and childcare in one way or the other. There's Deborah Kernstead who wrote like the uh, Healthy Wellbeings book, her sister Carla Kernstead who works in ELCC, Cheryl Ridley who was one of my instructors at Red River, Melanie D'Souza who I know is a mentor and an inspiration to so many people in the sector, and of course Zena Ramza. So those would be, those would be the probably most significant people that have inspired me over the years. Kayla, how about you? I know there's been people in your life too, I'm sure. So when I think about who inspired me, the first person I think about is my ECE as a child when I went to River Avenue Co-op Rosemary. Mm -hmm. She was so warm and welcoming. Um, I always wanted to play with her and um, she did. She cut my um, peanut butter and honey toast in perfect strips. So <laughs> I, always, um, I always think of that. And then I'm also so inspired by, you know, my peers and my colleagues. Uh, they're so fiery and passionate about the sector. And, you know, that it keeps me excited about what's happening. When I think about my mentors, um, for sure, the first person I think about is Mavis. Mm -hmm. um, she was one of my instructors at Red River. She has, my, my career path kind of took an outdoor route. So I, you know, had to mitigate risk bringing it into a program as well as with families and she's just always been somebody to support me and have those conversations kind of talk me off the ledge when she needed to and then um, you know even to this day she's helping me with different career decisions um, and that kind of thing so I'm very thankful for that and then I think being in this role now I think I have to mention you Karen um, you are a force to be reckoned with. You, I love the way that you organize and that you move things forward. Um, so yeah, you've definitely been a mentor to me too. So thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I'm a little teary oh, 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 As we begin the 32nd annual week of the ECE, we invite you to reflect on the significant people throughout your professional journey that have inspired you and shaped you into the ECE that you are today. On behalf of the Manitoba Child Care Association, Happy Week of the ECE! <laughs> <laughs>